I want to talk to you guys about replacing skylights when re-roofing. It's the age-old debate. Nobody disputes the fact that skylights are a popular option for bringing natural light into a home. They can transform a room by adding way more light than a window. Most roofers appropriately recommend replacing skylights when you're re-roofing. In our opinion at Concord Carpenter, we feel it's the most efficient way and it also allows you to synchronize your roof and your skylight warranties and kind of get everything on the same plane. A re-roof is an expensive project and in an attempt to cut costs, many folks will often opt to save old skylights and pay to have like a, a new flashing kit installed. The problem is glass seal failure. It's a common thing in old skylights and often instances of failure of, of seals or leaks even during a roof tear off and reinstall are, are heard of, are pretty common. Ripping up a new roof and redoing the shingles and the peel and stick and everything else because you have to go back and fix a leak in an old skylight is way costlier and more disruptive. As a remodeler, I try to show my clients that price differential between replacing a skylight when re-roofing. I want to show them that it's a reasonable cost. The price to reflash an old skylight is going to cost you around $500, roughly. The price to replace is somewhere between $800 and $1,200 or $1,500, depending on how many options you add onto the skylight. That differential's not that big, considering when you're doing a re-roof, when you're doing the whole roof. But having to go back and do it afterwards, to go back and fix a skylight, that's a whole different story. So this whole argument that I'm trying to say here is that I want you to think long term. Skylights have a lifespan uh, that is very similar to roofing shingles, asphalt shingles, and that's 20 to 25 years. Maybe you get 30 years out of them, but you need to ask yourself whether that skylight is worth saving at the end of that 20 years. And remember that many, many skylight seals, the glass seal, fails after 15 or 20 years. And the whole re-roofing process, the disturbing the area around the skylight, that can also lead to leaking and failure. All the stomping around, the ripping things up, tearing off, reflashing, re-roofing. It's all very disruptive to a skylight that's been sitting undisturbed for 20 or 25 years. Get rid of it, start new. Newer skylights have better efficiency, better technology today. As a remodeler, I use Velux brand skylights because they offer great features such as, um, well, first of all, they have a, a no leak promise and a 10 year warranty on product and installation. Not a lot of folks do installation. Some of the features that I try to educate my clients on are they have a solar powered uh, rain sensing skylight. If, uh, it's programmable, it has a, a remote control that you can mount on the wall, battery operated. They offer low E3 coated glass, better efficiency for energy efficiency, solar blinds, there's a tax credit, and, and like I said, there's a 10 year warranty. As far as the solar powered skylights go, those things are awesome. They allow the use of a remote control to open and close them. It's a great option for replacement with upgraded options. Since there's no opening of walls or running electrical wires required, no electrician needed, this is a huge plus, a, a selling plus for me in remodeling for skylight replacement, especially tall ceilings or areas where it's hard to reach and you've got to use that manual hand crank to open them. People hate those things. They often don't even use them. The solar powered skylight also uses a, uh, it uses a small exterior solar panel on the roof exterior and that basically captures available daylight and charges a, an internal concealed battery. Even on cloudy days the solar panel continues to charge and if the skylight is open and it begins to rain a built-in rain sensor will automatically close the skylight. Nice touch. No, no, no thinking about this or whatever. Uh, the remote control is pre-programmed. It allows you to open and close the skylight. You can set the height of the opening, the percentage, uh, without, like I said, without having to crank it. It allows for custom programs, opening them, opening the skylight several times during the day for 15 minutes at a time, or anything you want. You can open the uh, shades, the blinds that are on them, um, 
to wake you in the morning or at a certain time. It's, it's a really nice, really nice customizable setting. As far as the coated glass, the low E3 glass, it improves energy and for, uh, performance and it improves it by 35% compared to the skylights of the early 1990s, uh, which had dual pane clear glass. As far as the solar blinds go, they allow you guys or the homeowner to control the light and a little bit of insulation uh, factor uh, day and night. And it, so you can improve the lighting or control the lighting and can improve comfort of the room. There's a ton of different styles and designs between colors, light diffusing, and even room darkening. Um, the solar powered skylights are, have a tax credit. It's a 30% federal tax credit on your taxes at the end of the year. And that's gonna come out to about $140 savings off of, of the homeowner. That's really nice. That tax credit eligibility is really nice. However, it expires December 31st, 2016. Hopefully they extend it, we'll see. So the question is, should you do it? Well, ultimately the decision to replace or reflash a skylight is up to the homeowner. Uh, as contractors, we do our best. Some roofers will include a disclaimer in their proposal that they will not be held responsible for future skylight leaks in, in non-replaced non skylights. Look guys, to us here at Concord Carpenter, replacing skylights when re-roofing is a no-brainer, cheap insurance, and a common sense decision. Just do it. I'm Rob Robillard. We'll see you next time, guys. Take care.